Hello guys, it's Fluffy Turns. Welcome back to a brand new FTB video. Today is the final thing you'll ever see of my uh, tree farms. Basically, I've finally done the setup that I'm extremely happy with. It is definitely 110% um, self-sufficient now. I do not need to touch it. And I'm going to show you why. First of all, I've updated all the pipings to pneumatic pipes. And... The problems I had with them pipes to get them to work and the only way I can do it is which I'm going to show you in a minute is by doing it with three separate pipes when those were linked together it was dragging things left right and center I had no control even with retrievers and stuff like that it was throwing things out left right and center but I'll explain that in a second just want to have a quick look at this uh, 2.9 million nearly 2.3 uh, nearly 3 million actually so that is going extremely well as you see now, septums are going in, when it's full they go back to their destination which is over there. And I, all I have to do, I've got to use, the t I've got to use a lot of timers on this, I have to change a couple of timers so you don't get as many coming up and stuff like that. The logger used to be uh, this height there, I've now moved it down there to the same level which enabled me to use the pipes in the way I've done them. Because what was happening was, when that was all connected together, trying to do it, the these pipes here was literally connected to this pipe. It was taking all the oak saplings, hermes out, and it was literally going around in a massive circle, which is no good really. I nearly actually gave up on the uh, pneumatic pipes. But it was just out of pure luck. I've come up with this little design. And... Just so you can see by the fuel where that's going up, it's absolutely working. It hasn't caused me any problems yet. It hasn't stopped working. And as we're from below, obviously this is for the oak saplings. That goes down. It goes over to the central hub, which is that massive area over there. I'll get over there in a second to show you. Um, basically, there's retrievers that's sending information up to here to see if it needs uh, saplings. This pipe here, oh, wrong button. This pipe here is just for the hummus. So the hummus goes in. I don't know why that ain't been collected yet. Is it dark out? Uh, there might not be enough power for the uh, battery over there to run. But it will be, it will be eventually. Yeah, so this pipe here, this pipe is connected to every single one that is hummus. So it's basically pretty much connected to seven farms. I think I've got eight. Yeah, I've got eight farms, but obviously the sugar cane don't need hummus. So this is connect, this pipe here is massive in a circle. It's connected to one machine just over there. It pumps it to wherever it needs it. So every now and again, you might see like eight bits going up just to try and fit one spot. In fact, that's got 61. So eventually, that machine over there will pump it out. And it will come here. Like I said, I'm still figuring out the timing to try and get the timing perfect. So you don't have loads going up at once and stuff like that like that one over there that time it needs to be sorted out because there's too many saplings going up to there when you and in theory don't need that many and hence with the hummus <laughs> once it's filled up it goes, goes straight back and it, on the way if it finds there's another place that needs it it goes straight to that place as well this pipe here which is connected to the bottom it will take the sand out I don't know why it isn't maybe the time is uh, di slightly different on top of that, you connect it to the logger, so it takes out the saplings, wood, and the apples. And it takes it to a barrel over there, which is already uh, set up. But before I get over there, I'll set up my fermenter system. If I quickly drop down here. This is going pretty fast, because obviously you've got one for the compost. And obviously then you've got one for all the actual like sugar cane saplings and stuff like that. So that one needs to be quite fast, but that one doesn't really need to be. But again, it only sends it if it needs it. So all of them apart from one are running on water. This one is running on uh, apple juice. And the good thing about the way I've set it up, even when it runs out of stuff and something else goes into it, it will change and go to a different uh, fermenter, i.e. 
when I started the sugar canes was in this one here and that one was in this one here so they do switch about left right and centre which is all good but they all definitely get their own little spot and actually use um, the only reason why one's running off of that because yesterday they said about 400,000 apple juice it is going down I'm not producing enough apples to actually um, make enough um, juice to run those off so this is a squeezer again it's all nice away it's the same sort of system down below so you've got the this is another thing with regards to the squeezer the actual pneumatic pipe wouldn't actually pull the mulch out of the actual chair out of the actual squeezer so in, in order to get it out I actually pumped it into a chest and then obviously it goes down itself that's the only way I could actually get it done to work I tried all different types of way of doing it and yep like I said these are all pretty much identical I've moved the loggers so yeah, it makes it a lot more room as well. But let's get to the main area. Okay. All I've got to do is connect the wheat farm up to it all. And then everything's hunky-dory. Bloody hell, there's two lots. That's good. Which, that, it will be connected up. because it be, It's all connected up to the sorting system. I've just got to go to the other side and connect the... Um, wheat farm up to the sorting system then it'll all be running on its own Cause this retriever here will go to, go to the sorting system so if I put that like that it will now take dirt and wheat from the sorting system but yes okay so you're wondering why I've got these barrels here so I've got my dirt when this obviously gets down to well it will actually get dirt from the sorting system now to fill that back up to a max barrel then I've got the compost I've got my hummus and I've got my wheat regards to hummus I, if I am not this block out here you'll be able to see what I'm doing okay this is a crafting auto crafting table mark 2 I did try it with the mark 1 the standard auto crafting table Unfortunately, the pneumatic pipes, it was having a bit of a mare with them. Every time it's pulling it out, sometimes it'll throw it outside the actual pipe, so it would be a nice massive pile of hummus and stuff like that. So it wasn't ex uh, working exactly right. I looked up and I, found, I realized that the Mark II works 100 times better with the pneumatic pipes. Plus, you don't need chest either side of them, so it gives you a nice little setup here. This has got the dirt and compost going into it. I see by the top, which produces the hummus, and it comes out of the top. And it'll go along here, try and fill that up. If not, it'll go back and just sit into in the retriever until there's space. This is my battery that's running every single retriever here. And I think there's about six of those small solar panels up there. And this retriever sends out the hummus which you'll see over there so I've still got to play around like I said so I've got to play around with the timers to try and get it right but at the moment I'm not too fast it doesn't bother me when there's loads going up at the moment and here is the compost maker uh, I'm trying to think of the best way down I don't think I'll be able to see it from Right, in between there, there is another auto crafting table mark two. You've got the wheat going into it there. On this side, you've got the dirt going in. And obviously the top one, you pumps out the compost to either side, there or over there. Where did I put that dirt from? Whoops. And it's all connected underneath. And regards to the storage of the saplings uh, got the sticky resin another lot of compost sugar canes apples and mulch it's all stored here once it's fill up once again it will go straight down I've got a nice little hole here it go into this chest which is then pumped out into that's where all the dirt and wheat comes from 
but it's pumped into the same pipe and it gets taken straight down to the oh that system uh, sorting system I should say and then once obviously the chest like the barrel over there is full up there is a little chest on the end which goes to our recycling system I'll quickly show you I don't think I've shown you that so is there a lot of stuff in it yeah it's quite a lot of stuff in it that's good this will obviously will be filled in eventually when we get rid of this room oh this is our um bloody hell uh what do you call it? Moss stone maker. And then that'll just turn to uh, moss eventually. I may have done that because actually while I'm here I must give you a nice little tour. So I don't think you've actually seen all the bits and bobs we've done. But first of all, you've got the recycling system. Obviously the stuff goes in from uh, in the chest. I will be using a tesseract because someone did mention that before. And you know what? They do look very interesting. I'm going to start using them instead, and because obviously it goes straight into it then. But what happens is it gets fed from the crystal. Is it a crystal? Yeah, crystal uh, chest. Then it goes down. We've got a topper here to obviously hope, uh, hope help with the overflow. But at the moment this has been overclocked by eight. So you've got two sets of four. So it is doing pretty well. Once the scrap gets uh, dragged into this box. It will make a uh, what do you call it? A, a, a scrap box. Actually, we'll probably able to see it in a second. Don't know. Right now, it should produce a scrap box. There you go. That will, in turn, go into here. It could become anything, but nine times out of ten, it's scrap again. We should see something come in about now. There we go. Oh, we've got a oh, wood hoe. So basically, this is all the stuff that we've got from the uh, recycler scrap box. So you can see it's quite a lot of good stuff. It is all random, don't forget. Plus, that wood hoe will go into... can't see it now from up here. I think you can see it from the top. There's a... There's a generator which the hoe are going to and burn, which in force powers this MFE, which is doing quite well. And obviously that's all just out of actual uh, burning the wood, the stuff that we don't need, and all the stuff like um, dirt and stuff like that gets thrown back up there. So look at the pipe. So all that stuff goes straight back to the top of the recycler. The scrap goes straight back round, straight back into the uh, recycler as well. And all the important stuff that we like goes to the bottom. But, as I said, this whole area will be going eventually. We're moving the scrap bit. This was our first final, our like first room until we've actually made the areas bigger. This is a little shortcut we've got. So, once again, you've seen the sorting system, but I thought I'd give you a nice little look around. There, that slime you can hear, he, if I go over here, you'll probably be able to see him. So a nice little pet, he normally sits in that corner down there. But, yeah, as you see, each corner has got a MFSU, which is near enough, pretty much full up, all of them. I think that one's missing one over there. A nice little scent. Oh, those two lights are out. A nice little centrepiece, where you've got the... Twilight and the Never portals all around it makes it look a bit uh, nice. And this is what Mayan was using the marble stone for, a moss stone, I should say. Gives it a nice effect, I think. Got nothing down here yet at the moment. That's that's a nice little farm up the top. But even the actual ceiling's done. It looks pretty decent, I think. A bit snazzy. And this is where our current wheat farm is, which is produces way too much wheat, but you can't complain. Oh, let me quickly eat. And 
talking the subjects of houses, I've just got something else to show you. But I'll get you that in a second. I just want to show you the rest of this house. This is basically the main domain where everyone's going to come to meet, get what they want, stuff like that. That's my arms, that's mine. I need to get some boots. We've got our enchantment, anvil to repair stuff. All these separate books with all different types of stuff on them. And there's one bed, well, a triple bed, I should say. And that's all our solar panels that's powering bits and bobs down the bottom. So pretty much that's the main house. Now I've actually started building the house, but when I was away ill, obviously couldn't play games where my hands was muffed and my um, teeth were missing, which I still are, unfortunately. But I can learn to talk a little bit better without them. And uh, Mayhem decided to play a little trick on me. Now I was building my own home. Is it this one? No. Right, I was building my own home, miles away from this place. So I was, obviously so I can do my own stuff that doesn't affect anything. And this is what he left me. You've been away that long, nature has reclaimed your building. Mayhem, let's get. If I go outside, what the little bitch has done this had no trees around it at all. He's planted trees all around it, left, right and centre. Uh, the house, I thought, was looking pretty decent. Look what he's fucking done inside it. Look at all these bloody trees. And I'm going to have to dig all these out now. I don't want to stay away. Ignore this top bit. This is just a guide of where the actual ceiling is going to be so I can get the stairs right. Um, but this, this is going to be my nice massive mansion. And what else you didn't realise was as well that it would get. Oh god, get up. The actual trees are taking out some of the blocks of the house. Like there. That was all there that's all blocks on. He's pushed the blocks out and I've lost the blocks and stuff like that. But you know what? I don't know how he done it and why he done it. But revenge is gonna be sweet because I'm gonna get him back. I can't say too much because I know he watches my videos. Um, revenge is going to be good and you're going to hate me for it and I'm not going to tell you how to turn it off or stuff like that because I know already what I'm going to do. What the fuck is wrong with that tree there? Where the hell has that happened? I ain't touched it. Whoa, that is weird. Okay. Cool. So, end, end of the day, I'm not too sure about the red roof yet, but I thought about it, I'll try it because it stands out a bit. And probably won't even notice it from distance now. Gave it a nice three floors. So, of course, you've got to have a massive house on a place like this, in the world of your own. Obviously, I'm going to change the front, give it a nice little layout, and yeah. So, that's me done so far, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the final... Pardon, yeah, the final tree farm you'll ever see because, as I said, it's working 100% on its own now. I do not need to touch it, and on top of that, it looks hell so bloody good. Because, whereas before, if you remember rightly, I'll probably just try and get a little snapshot. You had all pipes going left, right, and center everywhere. Now it just looks so neat, tidy, apart from obviously in the middle bit and the wires. Um, Obviously, these won't be here. These are just my project tables to tell me what I need to build all bits and bobs. And it will be opened up eventually because obviously that wall down there, what I'm facing now, is the end wall. So that's going to go all the way around. So it's a massive big square. Um, tell you what, guys, if you're still listening, hopefully you are, I've got one spot left on the actual farm. I don't know what to build there yet, so if you guys got any ideas of what to build, uh, it goes in long line with the same sort of thing, leave a comment below and I'll put something there. Anyway, cheers for watching, bye guys.